that nicotine may have some boost in dopamine and that's always pleasurable this is why it can also be so addictive uh, along with other additives that they put in to both the vaping fluid and cigarettes but and other tobacco products but overall if you focus on trt for many of our men it's about health optimization and in many ways and you might hopefully you agree with me that in the back of your head if you're a smoker you got to be thinking it doesn't quite correlate with health and wellness and you're doing this one vice at the expense of, of your health. I mean, TRT is trying to improve you towards the health, but you're kind of detracting from it by uh, smoking or vaping. So yeah, I, I would say if you can find alternatives uh, to smoking or vaping and move more towards thinking in a healthy lifestyle, and I guess you can say the same for alcohol. I guess everyone thinks I'm just a teetotaler, but I've learned over the years that I want to do things that are going to improve my quality of life and my health span and try not to do things that are going to detract from it. But that's just me. I'm not here to preach. This is just what what I think and this is what I was asked so let me know what you think in the comments below let me know if you have similar opinions or tell me if I'm completely wrong I'm happy happy to hear what, what you think and if you like yeah, more content you know, I know this is a short one you know do consider subscribing and, and giving us a like if you like the video even even if you don't like what I said I would appreciate a like and on some of our long form content we're also now on Spotify so you can listen to the audio versions of all this on Spotify and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and don't forget to follow us on TikTok talk.